What's up, guys? This is Chris with BenOfBaseballCards.com. I, uh, I know it's boring to some people, but it's blaster boxes again. Target, my local Target here had, uh, still had four blaster boxes of, uh, Chickle, National Chickle. And I've only bought one or two blaster boxes of it. Actually, I think I bought a couple handfuls of the, uh, retail packs. I may have bought a handful of retail packs and a blaster, but <clears throat> it's uh, it's something that I haven't done too many of, so I, I know people aren't as tired of it as they are Series 1 and Series 2. That gets real old to continue doing all of the Series 1 and Series 2 or all my videos of that stuff, but they are the marquee sets. They are the Keystone sets, the the uh, the sets that made Topps famous. Um, and as you can see in the middle there, I've got a box of Topps Attacks. I had somebody request more Attacks videos. This is the tin. That's actually a nice looking tin. I like that Starburst design in the back. It's kind of like an artist proof uh, from back from Score Select, back when they did uh, Score Select cards. I really like that. But it's Nolan Ryan and Ryan Howard, which is uh, that's a good little duo to have on that tin. So I, I do keep the tins. I actually keep all my boxes just for informational purposes, for the information on them. But I keep the tins to actually try to resell them for uh, any collectors that may want to try to get them. It's an oddball collect an oddball collectible that, that some people do actually like and would be willing to uh, to buy. I also have the Tigers game going on behind me, so I'll occasionally be glancing over to that as I uh, bust all these boxes open. So I'm going to keep these boxes up here so they're blocking the, the tower, the computer tower, so that way you don't, you don't have to look at the ugly computer. Let's see what this first blaster of Chickle has. Jonathan Papawan, Ian Stewart, Robinson Cano, Zach Duke, Ubaldo Jimenez, and Bobby Abreu. And one of the retail checklists. I'm not sure off the top of my head which ones are SPs and which ones are I know all the SPs and the rookies are all at the end of the set Nick Swisher, Josh Beckett Prince Fielder again Gavin Floyd Evan Longoria in what appears to be a somewhat of a throwback uniform it does, that's not what the Rays uniforms look like but it it's almost as if it was written in uh, St. Louis Cardinals text from back in the day <laughs> and it has a B on the hat instead of uh, I guess it could be TB we can't we can't see the T Edinson Volquez we'll look at all of them in the end after I'm done busting the packs open we'll look at the we'll look at the backs of them all together <coughs> Kyle Blanks Ryan Ludwig Dan Heron Joe Morgan Juan Francisco and Gordon Beckham in another throwback style uniform not sure if that's a short print or not. I'll have to bring up my checklist. Mark Burley, Toby Stoner, Aaron Hill, Kevin Richardson. Really looks weird. I'm pretty sure that's a one of the well that doesn't have a rookie card logo on it, so I'm not sure if it's a rookie or just an SP. Carl Yastrzemski. And Stephen Drew. <laughs> there's actually some really, really nice paintings in this set, and then there's some there's some paintings in here that I can't believe they that grown men painted. <laughs> Griffey Jr. That's actually a decent painting. Chad Billingsley, Adam Wainwright, Orlando Hudson. Man, that looks like a photograph. That is the reflection on his helmet is fantastic. That is a spectacular painting. That's got to be the best one I've seen out of the set. Andrew Bailey and Jorge Cantu and another retail checklist. And the reason I keep saying retail checklist is because in the hobby boxes and jumbo boxes, they put the, uh, I don't think I have one sitting here, but they put the paper checklist in there and they don't put them on actual cardstock. <clears throat> and I do actually keep the uh, retail checklists on the site as well because they are still cards, so... Uh, just in case somebody wants them, I usually only have them for a nickel or a dime or something on there. Nothing ridiculous. Jimmy Rollins, J.D. Drew, Javier Vasquez, Nolan Ryan. And it's a national chickleback. That's beautiful. That's nice. 
Ian Kinsler and Josh Johnson. I actually peeked at that. I, I usually like to wait until I'm done and look at the backs at the same time so we can be surprised when I flip it back over. It's like opening another pack all over again. Jorge Posada, Jason Marquis, Alex Rios, Ryan Zimmerman in a throwback Expos uniform, which is the team that the Nationals came from. Mel Ott and Eric Ibar. One more pack from this box, five and a half minutes, so we're sitting good on time. Lou Brock, Brandon Inge, Mike Schmidt, Roy Oswalt, Mark, uh, yeah, right. I'm not going to try to destroy his name for him. Krasinski? Chris Young. I'm not sure what uh, the Toronto Blue Jays Mark pitcher is right there. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, and I'm not going to try to chop it up. I tried once. All right, let's see what we got on the backs of these here. We obviously already know that the Nolan Ryan is a uh, national chickleback. I haven't gotten any bazooka, bazooka backs yet. Mar Gavin Floyd is a national chickleback. <clears throat> the Nolan Ryan that we saw. A bazooka back. Roy Oswalt bazooka back. Well, for those who haven't seen it, there's what a bazooka back looks like. And if I don't want to guess at it, but I know there's not very many bazookas. The bazookas are obviously the harder ones to get of the two backs. But I'd uh, I'd really have to look into it to, before I would make any judgments as to how many cards there are. And that's obviously that's the last one for this blaster box. But that is one blaster box of National Chickle, and I'll keep these uh, special backs over here in a pile, and I'll just keep adding these boxes to them as I open them. Um, I'll stop this video here, and I'll go to uh, the second box, and then I'll do the, the Tops Attacks last. And I'm still, the, the jury is still out. I keep having TC Hummer, and there's a couple other people. Uh, I think Fat Jackson, I think you guys are trying to convince me to open this box right here. It is still sealed blaster box, and I have been contemplating it. Uh, I do still have s most of the cards left from the first blaster box, and I uh, obviously had this full blaster. And I, I do believe I am going to open it now because I, I just don't. I think there's enough people that are willing to buy the cards that I would make just as much profit by selling it individually uh, as I would selling it as a box on eBay because they take so much money from the profit. Um, and I also get to open it and see what's inside of it. So I'll I'll do the Bowman very last after the attack. So you guys will you guys will be happy. See ya.